Jake and Callum, congratulations on, on a superb victory. It was an, an excellent team performance. Callum first, what's your reaction? Obviously delighted. Um, happy not just for ourselves, um, the management, but the fans. Like it's, we, I knew it was a mess game, we knew it was a big game. Um, and I think it, it didn't matter how we went about doing it, it was just about winning today, but obviously to do it in that style, in the first half especially, was, uh, nah, it was pleasing. And Jay, your reaction, your first game for, for far too long, mm -hmm. must be first and foremost, good to be back in the team. Yeah, great feeling, um, frustrating being injured for a while, missing the games and watching the boys and supporting them, but nice to be out there today, um, in and amongst it, and um, playing my part, and uh, yeah, enjoyed it, great result. The gaffer says that you're you're not you're not may, maybe the best watcher of a game when you when you're out injured. But you've been very supportive of, of oh, Mark yeah. Smith and great to be back in such a, a fine team performance. Yeah, we got a good team spirit here, um, good bunch of lads. So that's important. So when you aren't, you know, either injured or out the team, uh, just supporting the team and hopefully we get the good results that go with it. Mm -hmm. And Callum, we spoke after the defeat at Chester and. You, you were you were asking, demanding a response. Today was the sort of performance that you were hinting at there. Yeah, and it, it started first day back in after Chester, and it's been like that a week. So I said after the game uh, with a radio interview, the way and the intensity we've gone about this week, and the way we need to carry on going, um, it wasn't a big surprise that we got the reaction performance that we did, um, especially earlier in the season when we. We were training at that intensity, and it was shown here. We were killing killing teams off at half before the first half was finished, and they're showing in today. So credit to credit to the staff and credit to the players as well, taking it upon themselves and not just going into your show and sinking, but showing uh, showing a good reaction. That fast start we've spoke about so many times this season. That was the archetypal <laughs> fast start, turning it up in ten minutes. Is there a point where? You think, right, we're on it from the first whistle here. Is there, are there signs that you can think in the warm up, in the dressing room, right from kickoff, that you think, yeah, this is going to be good? Yeah, there's a feeling about it. Um, we set about it, obviously, from the off, and um, the tempo of our pressing, and we kept the ball well. Um, but getting the goals early was a nice feeling, um, settles the team, and um, we went from strength to strength, and I think that's why we finished the game off the way we did. You were a virtual spectator mm. in the first half. Yeah. How good did how good did that performance look from your yeah. perspective? Yeah, we looked comfortable in everything we done. Um, once we was on the ball, we popped it about nice. And um, as I say, getting the goals, it takes that bit of pressure off. Getting the first goal, especially at home. Um, and yeah, second half I got called into action a couple of times, but apart from that, first half I didn't have a thing to do. So nice, no, good feeling all round. And you couldn't have expected such a comfortable afternoon, given the circumstances, really, yeah. I suppose. Yeah, I mean, these games, you, they can swing either way. Um, league form goes out the window, it's a derby, um, and we were on it from the off, and it showed. Did it, did it feel like a derby, given the first half was so dominant? There's normally tackles flying in, it's normally a bit, there's a bit of an edge, but... If I may say so, Woking didn't really get a sniff no. in those first few minutes. Yeah, was, um, we made it hard for them. Uh, we defended as a team and we attacked as a team, and just just for the whole ninety odd minutes, we we made it hard for them. And they didn't really get a sniff apart from the pen and the one before. That was it. Yeah. And Callum, it felt it felt against so against someone like Gozi Agru, who's one of the top scorers in this division this afternoon. I thought you you dominated pretty well. Did it? maybe not felt comfortable but you felt like you were in control of the situation uh, yeah for for a lot of the game it was that way <laughs> but it, it starts from it's a, it's a team effort do you know what I mean um, and it starts from the front and if we go as a team um, it makes obviously my job easier as a defender because we're winning it higher up the pitch um, so that's the first line of defence is obviously from the strikers but then knowing that we've got Coley behind us as the last line of defence it's uh, it brings the I'm quite a calm player anyway, but it's calming to know that obviously we, do, we want to keep them as quiet as possible, but if they do get through, like you had with the one-on-one, -on -one, and obviously the pen was a great save, um, we can we can count on him when needed upon. Um, and that's credit to him, because like you said, didn't have a lot to do, but concentration levels have to be high as a keeper, because like you said, you only have one or two things to do in a game. 
And if they both go in as goals, things swings the game, gives their tails up, and uh, so that. But like I said, it comes it comes from everyone. But no, it was nice. Um, felt me and Dee sort of dealt with them quite well today. And at the other end, it was all shot towns striker who, who stole all the headlines. You've played with him, played against him. I'm sure you played against against Scott Rendell for for Boreham Wood and whatever. You've played with him for many years. This afternoon just showed how good he is. What from from someone who's maybe trying to stop strikers like Scott Rendell? How how good is he? Give us a few words that's, about. That's the Rens that I know um, from the couple of seasons playing with him. Um, I mean, he got 25, 26, um, two seasons on the bounce, um, which is a great tally. Um, yeah, you put him in the box and you put him away. And today it went for him. Um, he was on point, and that's that's the Rens I know. Put it in the back of the net. Yeah. Calum, you've, I'm sure you've come up against him. What? Yeah, I mean, obviously he was unfortunate with his injury last season, but when I played him before, he's not just, obviously he's got the goals, but his hold-up play's good, bringing linking players in. Um, but look where he scored his goals today. Uh, if, you, if you give him give him ammunition more often than not, he's going to finish him off. And that's what I kind of talked about last week. I said, although we created some great chances today, um, all our goals were scored between the posts, mm. 10 yards or closer yeah. um, and I said the games won and lost in both boxes today we eliminated their threat as much as possible and like we said we, we were, had that killer instinct today and killed the game off probably. and there was really only perhaps only one key incident in the second half the penalty as we've said Jake you were a spectator for most of the game yeah. but how, how do you retain that concentration when suddenly you're called upon for a, a, a vital moment as vital as a goal yeah. You, it's the art of the goal, of goalkeeping, I suppose, that you've got to be 100% in that moment. Yeah, yeah we want to get back to clean sheets. Um, we was getting them regular at the start of the season, so that's important. And it's nice to, to finish today with a clean sheet. Um, as I said, we only had, they only had two chances, really, and um, I kept them out. So I was buzzing, buzzing with Cal um, following up the pen because, to be fair, I couldn't get away from me. Uh, I'd like to have palmed it out wide, but um, he's reacted first and got in there, got a great block, and that's just as important for us. Yeah, and did you did you guess or, or could, did you did you know that I had a feeling it was going that way? I had a feeling he was going to go right, but then when he started, um, I knew I, f I had a good feeling he was going to go right and felt confident that I was going to make a save. And then that that shows the commitment of the team, the quality of the team that four 0 up, in control, but. The goalkeeper, the defender, is still putting their body on the line to preserve that clean sheet. It, as a goalkeeper and a defender, that means as much as Scott Rendell walking away with the match ball, I suppose. Definitely. I mean, our, our job at the end of the day is to defend and keep the ball out of the net. So if we're doing that, um, we can trust our forwards that if they get chances, they're going to take them. Um, but like I said, obviously a great save from him. I felt confident in Coley. <laughs> And Nicky, he just didn't look too confident stepping up. I was watching him and sort of body language you can tell. Um, and I just thought, just react. Obviously Chester missed their penalty, hit the post, but I was there reacting to it. Um, and luckily, yeah, together we combined to keep the clean sheet, which was nice. Excellent. And finally, on to New Year's Day at Kingfield, a completely different game. This game probably won't have any bearing on it, but internally, I guess it must give you that confidence knowing that you're going into it on the back of such a good performance. Yeah, um, prepare right, uh, have a good week's training now, get the boys in, um, doing things right, and it will be a different game there. Um, they'll be fired right up for it. And um, yeah, bring it on, we'll be ready. But I suppose the obvious team talk, just one sentence, same again please lads. That's. Do you think that it, it can be as simple as that? Um, it's, for me it starts now, great win, it's done, put it behind us and we've got to just hit the training ground as we have been, uh, the intensity um, and show the desire that we showed today um, here to get the three points. So like I said, it won't be easy and of course that we'll expect a reaction from them but we, we need to make sure we're on ourselves first, we can't expect anything um, if we don't turn up. Well, congratulations. Thank you very much. Cheers, Merry man. Christmas. Nice Cheers. Cheers. Well done, boys.